Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You, and in today's video, I'm going to go over the for each argument in Terraform. Now, uh, there may have been a time, or there may come a time, where you're going to need to create multiple resources, um, you know, whether it be multiple resource groups, subnets, virtual networks, VMs, all of the above. And as you start to get more into infrastructure as code, you're going to probably start to see that your code is going to get really, really long, more complex. And some of these other methods, such as using like for each, allows you to kind of simplify some of the processes. And if you're any type of programmer, developer, you probably know that, you know, you reusing portions of your code kind of makes things a lot easier, more readable. So I'm going to do something really simple here. So if you're familiar with Azure, you probably know that in order to create a resource group, this right here is something really simple you would need. So if we were to create, let's say three of these, we would need, you know, to do this three times here. And then, you know, we got a home lab, let's say resource lab dev, test, and let's say sandbox. So now we would have basically three of those, but as you can see, we just created, you know, multiple resource groups that, you know, obviously as they get bigger or say these are just multiple VNets, subnets, the, um, you just create more and more lines of code that's kind of not needed. So to kind of get this in a reusable way, what we can do is we can actually, let's use this first block here up above. There's an argument you can just type, if, you know, for each. And basically, it's just really like a key value, you know, pair kind of thing where you name the um, arguments that you need in this portion, and then you call them um, underneath that there. So we know that a resource group needs a name and a location. This key, this can be anything. So I'm gonna call this resource group one but inside of here, I'm gonna go name equals home lab, comma, location equals, and then we're gonna go east US. Then we can literally take this, copy it three times, one, three, you want to make sure these are different names because if they're not then it will delete and reuse the exist it will uh, overwrite itself basically name we can change these if you know basically so home lab dev let's go dev test and we'll go sandbox we can keep the same region um, just keep this simple but obviously you can do different regions if need be then now all we need to do is go in and down here we have name location. We can literally get rid of these here. Oh, mouse jumping all over the place. So let's get rid of these resource groups. We don't need these down here. Last curly brace now. So now we just skinning it down to this, just this. So now in order to call it, we need to call, so for the name, we're going to do each, let's take this off, each dot, uh, let's see, value, and then dot name. And then for the location, now if we were going to use the key for anything, it would be each dot key or whatever, but since we need the actual value, we're going to go value dot name, or it could be value dot location. So we're going to go for a location. It's going to go um, each dot value dot location. And that's it. So now when we run this, we'll go ahead and do a Terraform plan. And this is basically going to show you that now we're going to create three resource groups in the East U.S. region, as long as those locations are correct. Sometimes I get those mixed up or backwards. So um, I am using the uh, Azure Cloud 
um, container, storage container to host my TF state. So there is a little bit of delay there. So as you can see, three resource groups, resource group one, two, three, home lab test, then the location. And then what I'm going to do is do an apply and an auto approve. Now I'll show you um, basically. So now while this is running, every time you need to create a new resource group, you just copy and paste that in there. We'll just go, let's just go staging. And I want to show you something why it's really important that you change this part here. So once these get created, I'll run a quick um, plan again just to show what it's going to do here. Now these should get created pretty quickly since they're just resource groups, they tend to get created fast. So now if I come in and run another plan, hopefully this runs a little faster here. So as you can see that RSG3 must be replaced and it's going to go from sandbox, which is this one, to then home lab staging, which is this one. So we don't want it to do that. So we need to make sure that this is correctly um, updated and we'll run another plan again. So now, as you can see, the plan is to add RSG4 and not remove um, Sandbox. So that's it. That's just a real simple kind of way to kind of go about um, using the for each method to kind of get your code more simplified and not really having to duplicate um, blocks of code um, across your Terraform configurations. So again, you can obviously do this with other resources, groups, and things like that. Um, kind of where it makes sense for your environment. So yeah, if you have any questions with this, leave a comment down below. Be sure to get back with you on anything in regards to this video or any of my previous videos. Also put this on a uh, article, um, letmetechu.com. You can check out down in below in the description. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.